it's Tebow time. And like it or not, it seems like he might be here to stay. I'm Abby Mastraco with New Jersey Advanced Media here at First Data Field in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Tim Tebow, former Heisman Trophy winner, former New York Jet, current Mets minor leaguer, reported to spring training today ahead of his actual report date with the rest of the minor leaguers. He held a press conference, he worked out a little bit. As usual, he brings both fans and controversy. But he says he's not paying attention to the controversy and that he never has. He's only here to show everyone that he can be a ball player and a good one at that. Um, something that is just, you learned and it's done. It's a continual process. You know, every day, every opportunity, every at bat, you know, always learning and pulling from other things that I've had to go through, whether it's been on different teams, the Broncos, the Jets, the Patriots, whatever, you know, those highs, those lows, and being able to pull on everything I've been through in sports, certain things in life, and, um, and all of that makes up your mental mindset, how you view it, how you approach it, how you handle pressure, every single thing. And so I think so many of my experiences have helped me and prepared me for the highs and lows of baseball as well. Highs with the Jets? I'm sure most of you remember that there weren't too many of those in 2012. There's a story up on the site right now, so go to nj.com to read about what he thought about being on the Jets that year. So what's changed since last fall when Tebow struggled in the Instructional League and in the Arizona Fall League? Well, he says now he can hit thanks to off-season work with Mets hitting coach Kevin Long and a little bit with former Met Daniel Murphy. I think one goal would be better every day. I think another, I know that sounds cliche, but it's kind of true. And I'd say the other goal is to, um, is to take the progress and the things that I've learned um, the last three months and, um, and apply those every single day and not just hold on to the things that I worked on and where I improved, but continue to build onto those things. And um, then when game time comes, to, you know, apply those and you know, get hits and make outs and have, you know, go have fun. As for the Mets who are in big league camp, they lost 5-2 today to the Astros. Jarese Familia made his first appearance of the season. So did PJ Conlon, rising star in the Mets system right now. Left-hander with a funky delivery, and he delivered today in two scoreless innings. Tomorrow against Miami, Seth Lugo makes his second start of Grapefruit League play, and we may see Noah Syndergaard and the rest of the Fab Five go in order after that, starting Wednesday back here at First Data Field. From Port St. Lucie, Florida, I'm Abby Mastraco for NJ.com.